Howdy y'all, Pete here from copblock.org. Recently a couple of friends shared with me an article entitled Know Your Place, which was posted to policemag.com by William Harvey. I thought it important to weigh in on. Specifically, I hope to share some thoughts with current law enforcement employees, as that was the intended audience of the original article. Please do familiarize yourself with Harvey's piece, so you can see that I'm not trying to distort his main thrust, which advocates that law enforcement employees defer to their superiors, especially when in the presence of citizens. Failure to do so, Harvey worries, can cause citizens to view your specific agency or the institution of law enforcement with less respect. A few points made by Harvey that caught my attention. The prolific use of the word citizen. In seven paragraphs, it's used eight times. Why, you ask? Did this stand out to me? Because viewing a person as a citizen infers that there's another group, which I'm pretty sure Harvey would identify as Leos. So what's the big deal? If one creates such distinctions and operates with such a paradigm, people are viewed according to a category. It only creates and perpetuates division, which doesn't set the stage for harmonious relationships and coexistence. Moving on, Harvey claims that law enforcement is steeped in paramilitary tradition. Assuming that's a factual statement, which I don't, though the trend has become so, is that a good thing? Do you really want to live in a militarized society? Do you want your kids to grow up in a community where fear is used as a rationale to erect a police state? Harvey makes a couple of statements that show to me his underlying motivation, the control of perception. A couple of phrases he uses, diminishes his position in the citizen's eyes and how we are judged by the public. It seems Harvey's not concerned with reality, but in window dressing. He goes on, I know that there are times you may despise your superior, you don't want them around, but due to your assignments or situations, they're going to be there. If you don't respect them as an individual, respect the rank and uniform they represent. If you disrespect the rank by showing the disregard for your agency's leaders, you're setting yourself up for problems. To summarize, never criticize. It's dangerous. In fact, criticism, constructive criticism, is healthy and necessary to any effective relationship, be it among lovers or colleagues, and to any endeavor. Being admonished for questioning so-called leaders seems a bit dictatorial. If such a structure is good for law enforcement, as Harvey claims, then why not apply the same self-censorship to all aspects of life? That would be a pretty grim world. When this video was recorded, Harvey's article had netted only a couple of comments, but they were insightful. In one, Mark notes that if an action wrong for a citizen, then it's wrong for a Leo. I'd agree, but think Mark fails to take his point to his logical conclusion. If one would agree that theft is wrong but support law enforcement as it's currently structured, they're lying to themselves, as the institution and its actors operate based on theft. Law enforcement today claim a legitimate right to initiate force, to steal the wealth created by others in their community, to then protect them. Seems to me a bit paradoxical, don't you think? The second commenter, Jeffrey, notes that a bad order is a bad order, but as long as it's not illegal, immoral, or unethical, and most aren't, then we have an obligation to follow it. But is that true? Again, every action taken by law enforcement today is ultimately couched on the fact that the goods supplied, security or safety, was facilitated through the use or threat of force. Is that ethical? Mm -hmm. Harvey's goal, mutual respect, is admirable, but real respect is got not gotten through orders. Might there be another way that that goal could be accomplished other than repeatedly denoting how critical it is that subordinates obey rank so that the reputation of the department not be tarnished? In fact, I'd argue that putting anything, be it a person or an institution, on a pedestal and actively ignoring problems or sidestepping them creates a bad situation. Most employed now as police employees are not bad people. They're just caught up in a system built on flawed foundations. Instead of telling police employees to act a certain way, might it be better if the provision of law enforcement had such incentives built in? I encourage you to check out the resources housed at copblock.org slash welcome leos to consider how law enforcement could be supplied like any other good or service via consensual interactions. Thanks for your time. I appreciate you exposing yourself to another perspective. Peace.